Good morning everyone. This is Sam. Hope you're doing okay today. This is my channel where I go out and uh, do side hustles. That's the name of the channel. It's called Side Hustle Sam in, in case you're new to my channel. So I wanted to let you know we're going to go out this morning and hit a couple of yard sales and maybe go a little thrift do a little thrifting as well. Everybody say good morning to Mrs. Side Hustle. Mrs. Side Hustle is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Miss Side Hustle. Oh, thank you, husband. 61 never felt so good. Well, we are so happy we're going to get out and let's get your call. Do some yard selling. So, let's have a good day today. Thanks. Well, we're getting started heading out into the wild as they call it, going out and looking for some items in yard sales. Hopefully we'll find some pretty unique items. Side Hustle Adventures 101. Side Again. Hustle Sam. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's our little kitty cat. She's our neighborhood it's kitty funny. cat. We call her Bunny. It's a bunny. Alright, we're at our local Goodwill. We're gonna see what they got here today. So here we go. Off we go thrifting, me and Mrs. Side Hustle. They always have some bait parking. <laughs> back from the yard sales and thrift stores today and I want to show you what we've got I know you're anxious to see what we picked up so uh, so I'm gonna go through everything and show you what we got so here we go first of all I'm gonna show you I, I picked up this this Canon 38 mil uh, I'm sorry yeah 38 millimeter autofocus camera for about five bucks now when we got it home we realized that there were batteries that were corroded inside and the and the door that goes to this is also broken so i'm going to see if that's possible to fix this and uh, of course you know when we list it we're going to have to disclose it and make sure that the the buyers know that it's broken but that was broken um that was one of the only one of the items that we purchased now i'm going to show you these thimbles here these thimbles um were something that we got online at uh um one of these facebook websites that allow free stuff these, these were free and these are only a few of the thimbles we've got all of these antique thimbles these are supposed to be the 12 12 days of christmas you can see that see if it'll focus in on that 
But these are the 12 days of Christmas. Each of them. All right, so let's go in here and look at the rest of these. Now here are the rest of the thimble collection. I'm gonna turn the light on so you can see a little bit better. But you see they are inside this case. I, I had to put them all in the case they were in bags, but there's lots of different um, thimbles that were a giveaway. So this was free, free to us. And I think I'm gonna get about $120 for this alone. So I'm gonna list it and see what happens with that. So as we move into here, where I brought everything in, I can go through everything that that we picked up. So here we go. Let me turn a little bit of light on so we can see. All right, here we go. All right, these, this little bunny rabbit thing. My hand is purple. This, this came from a couple weeks ago. This is actually gonna be something I'm gonna give my granddaughter. But we got this little Coca-Cola uh, canister it opens up when I looked it up the comps on it about $15 but it's antique and it's just like a tin so that's that found a couple of uh, here, here's another camera this is also a 35 by 70 millimeter Olympus zoom camera I looked this one up the comps on this one see I bought it for seven dollars now the comps on this one are about $35 to $40. The comps on that other camera I showed you just a minute ago, around $65. And these are some other things I found. This is a movie about the doors. And it was um, it was 99 cents, a dollar. This is uh, sealed in the package, VHS Saving Private Ryan. It was $1.99 sealed in the package original titanic movie vhs it was 99 cents so i'm thinking i can probably get 15 to 20 bucks a piece on those two then we got this movie field of dreams with kevin costner and it was 99 cents it's sealed in the package i'm trying to look for items that are sealed in the package now so that uh, they seem to to go for a little bit more money here's a chainsaw massacre this is actually the texas chainsaw massacre this is two discs uh, edition and it's it's in a uh, metal case so maybe that'll make it a little bit more valuable and coming up on halloween we'll probably get some more sales like on, on stuff like this during halloween here is an audio book sealed in the package uh, George W. Bush decision points. I guess this is about his time in the Oval Office. So I was tempted to keep this one, but you see on here, this uh, original price was $39.95. Um, but I picked it up for 99 cents. So we'll see what it goes for. I haven't really looked that one up. This is the uh, this is a, a Sega Genesis game, um, T2. It's an arcade game. Let's see if I can open it. All right, this so the game's in here with with the uh, booklet that goes with it. So that's the Sega Genesis T2 Terminator game, and then Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic 2. It's also a Genesis Sega Genesis game, and it's got the booklet with it. And, and there's the game. So I haven't looked up comps on those. So I'm thinking maybe 15, 20 bucks a piece on those. And those were 99 cents. Found these two dolls. Thought they were kind of neat and vintage. Somebody might want them. I looked them up. They're about $15 a piece. And I picked these up for these. These were $1.50 for both of them. And got this chemistry set. Discovery Mind Blown Chemistry Set. And it, it paid $3 for it. And it goes for about 25 bucks so these i've been having pretty good luck with these um ipod and ipad and uh that sort of thing cases um so this is a, a 
a Targus case for an iPad. I paid $5.99 for it at Goodwill. And uh, I think I'll probably get about $19, $20 bucks for it. Found this pair of... Uh, these shoes seem to go pretty good. These uh, yellow box lady girl shoes, lady shoes. These go pretty good. And I, I got these on the bottom. So $4.99 for these shoes. And uh, they'll go for about $24, $25. Bucks. And then I got the Lord of the Rings. $4.99. Cents. This is a uh, VHS tape as well. Got this old glow mold. Um, these are kind of popular on eBay and they go for, they command pretty good money. So I think I could, this is a smaller one, so it's not going to command as much, but, uh, for a dollar and a half, I think I can get at least 20 bucks out of it. So we'll see how that goes. And what is this in this package here? Um, this is Panasonic camera stuff. What it is, is a couple of batteries. And a, and a charging port. So I haven't looked that one up. I think it'll it'll get a little bit of money too. Found these Nike uh, Nike shoes for eight dollars, and then it was a dollar off on that. So I think they'll go for twenty five bucks. This uh, mag, mag magenta beach. It's a uh, monkey sock monkey, and it it comps at about $23 and these uh, I've never seen these kind of things before but these are like shoes that kids put on their feet and they bounce up and down and when when they hit the ground it lights up so I thought that was pretty neat and these were five dollars a piece and I'll get uh, 25 to 30 bucks a pair I got these two Coleman stoves they're a little bit in you know poor condition um, what I'll probably do, I've ordered some paint online. I'm going to, you know, touch them up a little bit and clean them up and make them look a little nicer. Probably can get about 65 bucks a piece for them. I paid $10 a piece. Moving on to the other items. I got this little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Kind of reminded me of those uh, cartoons from years ago. I think this is a vintage one, but it was only... Uh, 50 cents and uh, I don't think the nose lights up or anything but I still think it's pretty cute and might sell during Christmas time so we'll see on that with Halloween coming up I found this uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Halloween outfit it's an adult size outfit for me someone in the medium size range so I'll get that listed on there too um, I paid uh, like two dollars for that I think I can get about uh, 30, 25 to 30 dollars out of it. Also got this uh, leather baseball glove. It's a uh, it's a Wilson. It has a little bit of staining right here, but I think I can take some stuff and spread it on there and get it uh, where it's not showing anymore. But this is an all leather glove, and and uh, I got these at the Adelm House. This glove at the Adelm House, and I just recently sold two gloves. For between 35 and 55 dollars a piece so gloves do pretty good and also at the adult house found this uh wetsuit this is a i'm not sure what the brand is but that symbol i'm sure i can look that up and find out what it is but it's a it's a wet sleep uh wetsuit short sleeve and short pants wetsuit here this might be the name of it right here outrageous outrageous but I paid seven dollars for this, and uh, there's not too many wetsuits um, on eBay that I could find. But um, but they're going for pretty decent money. I'm looking at probably getting about thirty bucks for that, and and it should ship pretty easy. Found this Wii Fit. I have not looked this one up. Honestly, it is unopened. It is a Wii Fit um, board plus. Uh, the Wii Fit game as well inside and uh, it's sealed never been used so I'm thinking it ought to get a pretty decent price having be being brand new sealed in the box so we'll check that out and I paid $10 for that at an estate sale 
And one of the biggest items that I purchased was also at an estate sale, and it's this printer. This is a, and it's new in the box. <clears throat> this is this was probably the best find of the day. This Dell printer. It's a Dell 1760 NW Color LED Laser Class printer. Now I looked this one up um, as soon as we got out. Um, where I could check it out, but I knew it had some value to it. I paid $45 for it um, It was listed for 75 at the uh, at the same estate sale where I picked up the Wii Fit But I paid 45 for it. I looked it up and these comps on this printer brand new in the box are Around $355. So that was a super super win for the day So that was exciting to see that and to be able to make that kind of money if we uh, can get it turned around fairly quickly, which I think we will be able to do. So the last item I want to show you, here I go again with cash registers. This is one of the, this is a Sharp XE A407 cash register. And I bought this cash register at, um, at the Adolem House uh, thrift store as well. I tested this cash register out. It works excellent, nothing wrong with it at all. These cash registers, I paid up for this one. You see, I paid $100 for it. But this cash register on eBay is bringing anywhere between $299 and $350. So I think this will be a good flip here. Um, it works well. It's a wonderful um, cash register. And, and I've had some really good luck with cash registers. So we'll have to see how it does. <clears throat> but anyway, those are the items that I picked up today. I think I had a pretty good day overall. It was uh, it was nice to spend time with my wife Carol. It was her birthday and she had a great time. She loves to go thrifting. She loves to go to yard sales. And so do I. It's a great way to, to for us to get items for the eBay store. And uh, it's also a good time to spend together. It's fun when, when couples get to do stuff like that. The last thing I'm going to show you is, is in this video before I close it out is I want to show you what I've done with the uh, what used to be the dining area of my uh, headquarters office. I made a second office out of it. See, I took the, uh, the, de the other desk that I had, I put it in here. Now I got a ceiling fan going right on top of me and I can do some of my listings right here where it's a little bit cooler. And I also ended up taking that TV from a f couple of episodes ago and just putting it in here and sticking a fire stick on it and using it. So it's a lot of fun to sit here, watch TV, and uh, and do my listings at the same time. And I also found this Singer sewing machine at the same yard sale where I found those um, electric wheelchairs. So I'm not gonna sell this. I'm just kind of keeping it for myself right now. Um, I might sell it at some point later on on Facebook Marketplace, but for right now, I'm gonna keep it myself. But I do have this whole box of uh, CDs and there's some pretty good ones in here. This one is Linda Rodstant, Rodstant, Rodstant. And uh, Carol picked this up. I think I showed it a few episodes back. But there are a lot of good uh, CDs on here. I think if I can get them listed, I'll just start listing them. When, once my inventory starts getting down, I'll just start listing these and uh, getting them onto uh, eBay so that they can be available for people to buy. But I think they'll go for and looking at other people's um, CD collections like this, uh, I think they'll go for twenty to fifty dollars a piece. There's Gavin DeGraw Chariot. Um, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure and give it a like and a thumbs up, and uh, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I hope that you continue to subscribe and continue to come back and enjoy these videos and the content is something that you enjoy watching. So until next time, we're going to say goodbye here and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.